Hi, I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how the web page I've created can be used to figure out which mutants you'd like to make in the IM9 protein. So first a little orientation. When you load the web page, what you see is this molecule viewer like we used before. And what this shows is the IM9 immunity protein bound to part of the colosin toxin. The colosin toxin shown in E9 is shown in gray, and green and red shows the IM9 immunity protein binding. And so you can imagine the amino acids here are involved in the specific binding of the toxin to the, the inhibitor to the toxin, and the other amino acids might be involved in maintaining the shape of the uh, immunity protein. And so there's a few things to notice about this. What we've shown here in green lines is the backbone of the IM9 protein. And we've highlighted certain amino acids in red. Those are the ones that we have ordered mutants for, and those are the ones that you can select and choose to explore as, for various mutations. And so what you can do is you can mouse over, and as if you see here, this says cis-23. And so that's cysteine, at position 23, and it's red. And so if we click on that, it takes a second for the interface to respond. What you can see is if you scroll down, this is all the possible mutations we could have for cysteine 23. And as you can see from this, we have no idea what happens. All these changes are possible, and you can order them up as an experiment to do. And at the moment, we have no idea what they have on the effect, of the, on effect on the function of the protein. If you want to get a better idea what's going on with just cysteine 23, you can see us in the viewer page. Again, you can see that uh, here's the um, toxin, and here's the inhibitor, the IM9 protein we're mutating. And as you notice down here, it says the internal structure. If you zoom in, you can see that the cysteine is, if you roll around, it's mostly buried inside the pro IM9 protein. So it's not so much touching the gray of the toxin. So it's more about maintaining the internal structure of the IM9 protein. And so here, shown sort of in big fat space fill, is cysteine. And these are some of its nearest neighbors. And if you mouse over, you can see which amino acid. So it's got a neighbor, this is the cysteine, it's got a neighbor that's a proline, another neighbor that's uh, valine, etc, etc. And so this should help you think about what you, if you want to order up a mutation in cysteine 23, and if so, what you might want to change it to given what its neighbors are, and what it's interacting with, and its position in the protein, and shape and size of all of its neighbors, and the properties of its neighbors as well to think about. And so then again, you tell your TA, we want to make, say, for example, the mutate, I want to order up mutation in cysteine 23 to leucine, and we can explore and see what happens there.